Thanks for joining us on TVC News at 10. We'll begin in Abuja, where President Bola Tinubu earlier today performed the wreath lane ceremony to mark this year's Armed Forces Remembrance Day celebration. Governors and Nigerians also took part in commemoration of this significant military event meant to honor the contributions of serving and retired officers and men and ensure the efforts of those who died in the course of defending the nation's democracy and national unity would not be in vain. Our correspondents were out and about capturing the celebration. We have details in these reports. The first time President Bola Tinubu will come to the cenotaph of the army as president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He took the national salute before he was accompanied for the inspection of guards by the commander, Guards Brigade. This solemn annual military ritual is a powerful symbol of remembrance and respect to veterans of World War I and II in the British Commonwealth of Nations. It is also to commemorate the end of the Nigerian Civil War on the 15th of January 1970. President Tinubu was led to the arcade by the firing party to lay a wreath symbolizing the beauty and brevity of life, especially the fallen heroes and others still in the front line fighting to keep the country safe. The presence of all of us is also a major significance that yes indeed the government of the day will never let them mourn alone and they will do everything possible to ensure that their welfare is taken care of. They should know that what they are doing is a noble cause and I will be with them all the way. We will support them all the way. I will ensure that their siblings are not left alone. We have to thank uh, the president for all the support and the love he showed for the Poland heroes. One of the events at the Lane of Ruth ceremony is the signing of the Armed Forces Celebration and Remembrance Day Register. We fly high. And also the symbolic release of pigeons as a gesture to indicate love, harmony and peace. The families of fallen heroes are part of this commemoration that rekindles hope of renewed promises and improved support from the government. The military gives scholarship, I've explained that before, to the children, four children per family. Or oh, after 18 years, if you don't make university, you are dropped out. So, by that first, I want to speak on. I want those who have had grown the age for the scholar sponsorship should be looked. The application should be looked into. Giving 250,000 naira as as a support to the widows is a very good start because it has never happened before. This is the first time in the history of Nigeria. They've been trying their best for us in, in times of our welfare. Because up to date, they are not in any retiree, our pensions, and it's, uh, they pay it at when they The Armed Forces emblem, a symbol of respect for the unknown soldiers, used to generate financial support and contributions for the families and dependents of fallen war veterans, is no longer valid after the president's wreath is laid at the cenotaph. After soldiers are dismissed from parade, the return to the call of duty against all odds to keep the country safe and hope the country keeps its end of the bargain. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. There was a time when Nigeria's northeast region was almost overrun by Boko Haram insurgents. It was the men and officers of the Nigerian armed forces that stood firm and fought back pushing the enemy out of the cities and towns to the fringes of Lake Chad. The 15th of January is set aside to honor these heroes and remember their sacrifices. From Yobe to Gombe to Taraba, Nigerians are grateful. Our heartfelt condolences to the families of the fallen heroes and to all Nigerians, particularly those of us in Yobe state, uh, this signifies how peaceful the Yobe is today. We are able to celebrate and commemorate the uh, fallen heroes. And uh, going forward, we expect 
more patriotism, nationalism. I'm make sure that the Nigerian region enjoy the benefit of their service to the nation and also specifically the widows, the wives of our departed ones and even those ones that are unable to do things to, to survive. Many people forget those who work for peace to be attained and are still pursuing this course. Legionnaires and widows of fallen soldiers want prompt payment of welfare entitlement for retired soldiers and those killed in action. Leaders of the Nigerian Legion in Taraba and Gombe State explained that retired soldiers still contribute a lot. Some are very healthy, physically fit to do other jobs in state capital and local government area council, especially on security matter. We are tired, hmm? but not tired, some of us. We are still helping the government in many places. The release of the White Pigeon, which signifies peace, and the 21-gun salute marked the end of the 2024 commemoration. Every single minute of every single day, men and officers of the Nigerian Armed Forces are in the trenches, in the creeks of the Niger Delta, in the desert of the Northeast region, and the forest of the Northwest, standing guard and fighting to defend the Nigerian state and our people. It's important that on such a day as this, the Nigerian people also come back to acknowledge their sacrifice and to say thank you to these men who are currently serving, those who have pulled out of service, and those who have paid the ultimate price. Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe. Deputy Governor Yakubu Garba lays a reef to honor the men and women who sacrificed their lives in the First and Second World Wars. The event served as a solemn moment of reflection, paying tributes to the heroes of the armed forces. However, beneath the surface of this commemoration lies a pressing issue that demands attention. The unfulfilled promises surrounding the welfare of the Nigerian Legion, activities of Boko Haram insurgents, have led to the loss of more soldiers in the last two decades. No cause for alarm, please. Leading up to the Armed Forces Remembrance Day, members of the Nigerian Legion launched an emblem fundraising initiative, calling on government officials to participate. The fundraisers are intended to support the families of fallen heroes. What we need from the government is to engage them because we train about 250 cadets, but only 100 are employed. So you see, it's a threat to the rest that we have trained. The Niger State government, however, reassured ex-servicemen and family members of the fallen heroes that it will engage them productively through the State Ministry of Medium and Micro-Small Scale Enterprises. We also have a ministry for social welfare that has to do with the issue of aging. And uh, we also assured you that the government of Mohammed Umar Bagu will do everything humanly possible to ensure that these people, by their age, by their strength, they are not languishing the object of poverty. Because they are not finding it very easy for this situation without a husband. But we just give ourselves that strength to live just for our children. So please, we are pleading with the state governor to plead God to assist him. We should please look to our aid. Jeremy Bami, TVC News, Mina. It's the 2024 Armed Forces Remembrance Day. Governor Abba Yusuf and security chiefs are here to perform the reef laying event to remember the country's fallen heroes. The governor inspected the parade by the military. Then joined the service chiefs to perform the reef laying part of the event. <laughs> The delegation also released pigeons to symbolize love, peace, and harmony. Of Abba Yusuf, while interacting with journalists, prayed for the repose of the souls of the fallen heroes. Every beginning of the new year, uh, we normally celebrate um, the departure of the um, armed forces personnel that died um, during uh, their own um, service to the nation.
This is the first time the governor is participating in the reef laying ceremony. He pledges to support families of the fallen heroes. Now what I want to say is after going around greeting them, I just want to assure you of my government support at all times. Governor Yusuf has promised to launch the state security trust fund to support the military and law enforcement agencies. Ibrahim Isa, TVC News, Kano.